So I'll start by welcoming you all to Russia, Australia. Uh, my name is Ray Yunus, I'm the Managing Director and Head Trainer here. I've been involved in the health and fitness industry for about 18 years now. First as a PE teacher, um, as a health educator for, for primary and high school kids. And then from there I was involved as a strength and conditioning coach. Um, I worked um, as a professional athlete for six years. And over the last five or six years, um, with Tanner and Billy and Sarah and myself, we've paid um, a lot of attention to, I suppose, helping adults change their life. And one of the ways in which we do that is by getting you guys outside and exercising and talking to you about the benefits of being involved in a, any type of exercise. Whether it's with us or whether it's someone else, there's always a benefit of being involved in, in exercise. If, uh, if there's one thing that sort of separates what we do from everyone else that's involved in outdoor group fitness, is we like to be, I suppose, promote ourselves as being a little bit more professional. And the way in which we do that is we, we take it upon ourselves to try and educate you in the best possible ways. Whether it's through the boxing demonstrations, whether it's through the nutritional guidelines that we give you, or through seminars like we're going to be presenting tonight, we think it's more important that you walk away understanding why you need to do things more so than you know what to do. So w without further ado, I'd like to start. And tonight's seminar is called Nutrition Education. It's not called weight loss, it's not called sensible eating, it's not called high GI and low GI foods or what should I be eating if I want to fit into a costume. It's called Nutrition Education. And one of the reasons why I've called it Nutrition Education is I'm still of the belief that you're not going to be able to get any results and long-term sustainable results until you understand what you should be eating and why you should be eating it. Most of you will put your hand up if you agree that you know, water is healthy, and most of you will put your hand up and agree that Coca-Cola isn't. So we all know what we should and shouldn't be eating. And if you had to choose between fish and McDonald's, most of you would choose that yeah, fish is a healthy option. It might not necessarily mean that you choose a fish over eating McDonald's, but you at least know that one's healthier than the other. So the next step today is, is for you to understand why it's healthier and what the implications are of doing the wrong things. So there's going to be a few things that we uh, go through tonight. First thing is, you know, why nutrition? Why is nutrition so important? We're, we're going to look at what we call the national health priorities. There's nutrition for fat loss there. And as we start to go through, you'll start to see that some of these things may be relevant to you. Some of these things may be reminded to you. Some of these things may not be relevant to you. But the thing to keep in mind here is this seminar is as a result of a lot of the feedback that I've been given over the last four or five years. Some of these might be quite interesting to you. For example, you might not understand what high, high GI and low GI foods we're going to get through an emotional eating survey today and a diabetes risk survey. And I'll give you plenty of opportunities to ask questions. So we're going to get started now. And I'm going to talk to you through for what I believe is one of the most important things is to let you know that I'm not actually a dietitian and I'm not a nutritionist. My qualifications and everything that I'm going to talk to you about today is a result of 18 years of education, 18 years of applying what I've learned at the university level and what I've learned at the TAFE level as well. So there's nothing up there that says that I'm a dietitian. There's nothing up there that says I'm a sports nutritionist. So if you know you've got specific dietary requirements, you may be pregnant, you may be allergic to certain foods, you may be lactose intolerant, then some of this information may not be relevant to you. So if that's you, it doesn't mean this isn't important. All that means is some of these slides may not be relevant to you. So it's important that you see me after the seminar tonight and I can talk to you about your specific issues.